right at the start of this video, we ran through a list of reasons as to why a ship might become abandoned. But we didn't mention insurance fraud. That's what's believed to have led to the wreckage and abandonment of the MVE Evangelia on the Black Sea coast of Costinesti in Romania. The 7,000-ton cargo ship was built under the name Empire Strength in Northern Ireland in 1942, with the intention that she would become part of the British war fleet. Aside from shipping refrigerated supplies from one place to the next, she didn't do much during the war, and when it was over, she was sold on into private hands. For much of the next 20 years, she passed from one owner to the next, changing names multiple times in the process, until she became the property of the Greek company who named her MVE Evangelia in 1965. She was on her way from Yugoslavia toward Romania when she ran aground to the south of Constanta three years later and got stuck. No cause for the accident could ever be determined, and so attempted insurance fraud has always been widely suspected. The old Soviet cruise liner Lubov Orlova is unique in our video, as she's the only abandoned ship that we don't know the location of. In fact, we can't even be 100% sure that she's still floating at all. The vessel, named in honor of an old-time Soviet movie star, was once the pride of the fleet of the Marine Expeditions Company. She received her first passengers in 1976 and was still welcoming visitors 30 years later. By 2010, she was still running, but in a poor state of repair. By 2012, she was badly damaged, and the company that owned her was in deeper debt than it could afford to pay. The company went bust, and the ship was sold for scrap. As she was being towed from Canada's Newfoundland to a wrecker's yard in the Dominican Republic in January 2013, though, she snapped her tow rope and drifted off on her own, seemingly intent on seeing the world one last time. She was sighted further down the Canadian coast a few weeks after that, and then identified by the Irish Coast Guard on the other side of the North Atlantic Ocean three months after that. Since then, there's been no sign of her. There's a cove on the island of Zakynthos called Shipwreck Bay, and it owes its name to the wreck of the MV Panagiotis. That's a fact, but almost every other aspect of the life of the Panagiotis is a guess. The coaster ship is thought to have been built in Scotland during the late 1930s, serving as a trading vessel for almost 30 years under the name MV St. Bedan, before being sold on in 1964, and then sold on again in 1975 which is when she became the Panagiotis, under the ownership of a man named Mr. P. Lysikatos. After that, there are no records of her until October 1980, when she's found abandoned in her current location. Lots of people on the island have a theory as to how and why she got there, but the most commonly believed story is that she was being used to transport black market cigarettes back and forth between Turkey and Greece, and was forced into the cove while being pursued by the Greek Navy. The crew fled on foot when the ship ran aground, and the Navy never caught the smugglers. The Navy has denied that version of events, so feel free to make up your own tale. 